CTV Pinpoint Weather with meteorologist Rob Nucatola. Well, good morning, everybody. We are checking out the radar picture. Not much activity over the past 12 hours. Not going to be any activity over the next 24 hours. But as we get to Saturday night and Sunday, we're looking west for our next shot for showers and storms. And there could be some stronger storms mixed in there Sunday morning. So we will have things to watch over the next couple of days. Plenty of updates coming on social media and, of course, online. So keep finding us and checking us out there. We'll have plenty of information for you as we watch what this next wave of showers does. It's 54 degrees in Tallahassee. It's 56 six in Valdosta. So we're starting the day a little bit more mild than yesterday when we saw widespread numbers in the 40s. Normal high is supposed to be close to 80 degrees. That's what we did yesterday. I think today we get up over 80. I think tomorrow we get even farther up over 80. Could see some middle 80s mixed in there, especially if we hang on to enough sunshine, and that is a real possibility. It's 49 this morning at Wilma. That's the cool spot. Live Oak, the warm at 62. A little bigger range of temperatures, though most of us someplace in those middle and upper 50s this morning. The breeze is making that turn more to the southeast and south. That's where the warmer and more humid air comes from. We'll start to feel a little bit of that ick today, but just a little bit. Lots of sunshine still. We'll cook up a few clouds as we reintroduce some of that humidity too. And with higher pressure leaving out to the east, the door is open for this next boundary to really start making progress as it works its way from the west to the east. That's the leading edge of much cooler air. And early next week, we're going to see the temperatures get knocked right back down to more early spring like levels, but I think for today for tomorrow might even start to feel a little bit more summery out there. And then the question mark is going to be, will this hold together enough to bring us a big wave of showers or a big wave of storms, or will we just get a couple of pithy little scattered showers still to be determined at this point. Looks like a real good chance, though, for another good soaking on Sunday morning. Future cast between now and Saturday afternoon looks like we're going to have more sunshine than anything else. The clouds will slowly increase a little bit over the next 36 hours, but I think for today especially, it's all about sunshine. Tomorrow, increasing clouds much later in the day. Winds on the Gulf today out of the southeast and south, 8 to 16, seas 2 to 4 feet. Not a bad day for the boaters. They're going to get a little bit breezier out there too. Low tides are next up, 715 they get started. 40s and 50s will call it clear and comfy this morning. Sunrise officially 713. How about low 80s for daytime highs? A little warmer than the past couple of days, but still really, really nice. Upper 50s tonight, more clouds, more humid, a little bit of patchy fog to start Saturday. Outdoor plans for Saturday are looking just fine. Still the good stuff may be getting a little warm. Sunday morning is the morning we're watching for some showers and storms. And then looks really, really nice on the other side of that too, guys. All right, six